Back in late October, I was contacted by Nicole Bogart at the Global News in Toronto to do a voice identification, a preliminary voice identification, on whether or not Mayor Rob Ford called a local radio station to defend himself. And uh, what I did was I got a, a known sample of Mayor Ford off of some of his YouTube videos and the radio show recording of this person calling in. And what's interesting about this voice identification is that uh, my story was completed with the Globe a few days before Mayor Ford came out and confessed to using crack cocaine. I'd been working with the Globe for about a year now and we were trying some different things to determine whether or not uh, Mayor Ford was involved in what he was being accused of. It started out with a video that may or may not exist and it ended up with this particular story that ran in the Globe. Um, and here's what I did. I got the original recording from I'll cheers it. Nicole. Ian from Etobicoke moments ago with Making us. Making air quotes, I see. Yes. <laughs> and let's, uh, we started off by asking him if the mayor has anything to answer for. No, I don't think he has to answer to anything. He has personal problems. And by the way, by the way, if you think you can fire somebody because they have a personal problem with something like the substance abuse in a union or, a, or with a labor, you can't. No, but you. You know what? But the mayor's not. The mayor's not in a union. Uh, here's the thing. Nobody. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nobody, nobody's a, a union in there. Nobody's accused uh, the mayor of breaking the law. This. So this was supposed to be somebody named Ian who was calling into the radio station. So I uh, downloaded some audio from the many videos of Mayor Ford on YouTube, and I created a back-to-back -back exemplar and came up with a percentage of probability that I believed these voices were the same. Here's a, a, a sampling of the work product that I prepared to arrive at my conclusion. I do not use crack cocaine, nor am I an addict of crack cocaine. No, I don't think he has to answer to anything. He has personal problems. And by the way, by the way, if you think you can fire somebody because they have a personal problem with something like the substance abuse in a union or a, uh, with a labor, you can't. Can you get off my property, please? Can't go get off my property! Pride Week attracts an estimated 1.2 million people to our city each year for 10 days of community activities, including street festivals and the highly anticipated Pride Parade. I cannot comment on a video that I have never seen or does not exist. And what happened was Mayor Ford came out and confessed, I believe, right at the time the newspaper was going through their legal department to determine whether or not this particular story could be published. And it was published a day after Mayor Ford had confessed to using the crack cocaine. And as you can see right here, it says Ed Primo, a forensic analyst. 30 years experience says he's confident the voice on the commentator who called the local Toronto radio station AM 640 to defend Mayor Rob Ford Thursday belongs to Ford himself. I base my conclusion on the speaking style, voice and speech characteristics and vocal tone. This is what's called a preliminary voice identification. It is not something that would hold up in court, but they asked me my opinion I gave them my opinion, and I believe this is part of what convinced Mayor Ford and his advisors for Mayor Ford to come out and do the press conference confessing that he had smoked crack cocaine.